Jennifer Freeman product video training. What I'm going to run you through right now is a real quick calibration. Uh, and the calibrations uh, with the 600 is a lot easier uh, than it is with the 100. It does show you a lot more things. I'm uh, really I'm busy preparing a calibration solution right now. Um, so, what we want to do, uh, and, and I'm going to do conductivity first. Okay, so I'm going to take the pH one. I'm going to put it back in the T just to get it up out of my way. Okay, I'm going to take the pH cup of solution or just water that I had in there. Get it out of there. I'm going to take this tag and put it back there. So, ready for my calibration on conductivity. So I'm going to hit my inputs. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to go to the second. Okay, right now it says 467. Uh, the raw value 447. So it's about 20 different than what it what we've told it it is. Okay, so a lot of people get out of range. That raw value is the portion right there that it's referring to. Uh, if I had tried to calibrate this to 900, that'd be two times what it thinks it is. This raw value is what the machine thinks it is based on the resistance of the sensor, okay? Period, it's gonna think that no matter what. If you do a calibration and move it up a little bit, it didn't change the raw value. It won't change the raw value. The raw value is, it is what it is, okay? So. So 448 in conductivity lets you do 1.5 times. So if you took your math out, 450, uh, one and a half times 675, okay? So the mass, maximum I'll be able to do is 675. Once I'm in this range and I look at this, I can see that the sensor's going bad because it's how, how far it's getting away from the raw value. That's really what it's telling you is that it's gonna be, need to be replaced pretty soon, okay? So let's do a calibration, which is that button right there one point process if you leave it in the machine one point buffer if i have a standard solution that i know is or an open air calibration an open air calibration should be zero so i'm going to take it i'm going to take it out of the sensor i made these custom uh, t's for me so i can stuff them down inside the the the, the uh, cups here uh, and we can do that for you guys too if you call i can get you some of these i got lots of t's uh, and this is just basically so this, the sensor isn't touching the bottom of the glass. So I'm gonna do open air calibration. Okay to disable controls, yes. Remove and hold it in the air. Okay, save the calibration, very good. Okay, so now it does, you've done the open air calibration. It's basically, it's set to zero. I'm gonna put it back into the machine. So you can see it's still about 20 off. Okay, it was a negative seven is what I thought instead of, of a true zero. So that's, it's based, it, these aren't exact sciences. They're close and sometimes they're all a little off. Depends on how long that one's been sitting in here. Uh, I've had it in this room for a while. So, you know, it could be already starting to deteriorate. So now I'm gonna do a calibration. I'm gonna do the one point process. Uh, it, right now it'll tell you what it thinks it is. 489, I'm gonna say 470. I'm gonna move it back to, roughly back to raw value. I'm gonna hit the check. It's gonna do a calibration, save the calibration values. Okay, so now it should change 470, 452. Everything's looking good, okay? So, that basically that's a one point process. One point process will let you leave it in there, you take your handheld, you take your message. In here, I have standard solution. So, and my standard solution is rated at 1413, okay, what it says here on this little bot I got from Hannah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put in a one point buffer. Okay, I'm gonna disable the controls, this means I don't want it to feed based on this little calibration here, I just wanna do a little quick calibration. I'm gonna put my sensor into that one. Oh, oh, that's not so good, okay, that's done. So, I'm gonna put it into my buffer solution. I'm gonna tell them it's 1413. I'm gonna hit the check. And now it tells me to do that, which I've already done. I hit the input, go ahead and count it. Tell them the buffer too is at like 72 degrees, that's how cold it is, or how warm it is. It's pretty warm today. Let it stabilize, don't force it. So we have some 
water on the glass. There you go, save calibration results. Okay, now you're calibrated to a, a traceable solution, okay? See, this is 1414, thinks it is. I'm gonna switch it back to city water here. You can see it drop really quick. I went to open air again, so it was about 509, so my 470 was off a little bit, because uh, I was really just guessing, so. But that's how you do the basic calibrations in there for connectivity, okay? Hit menu, go back to it and it should pan over to connectivity. Okay, guys.